What's going on, everybody? I don't know what day this is coming out, but I'm sure it'll be one day early next week. Hopefully, you guys are having a good week. I haven't really hit this up at all, and I've been meaning to. And it was a lot of numbers that were put out by, uh, what do they call it, gem rate that goes over the PSA numbers for September. Crazy, crazy numbers. This has been out for about, coming on three weeks now. Yeah, about three weeks. So, let me pull it up on the screen here. Alright. So, let's hit some of these numbers up here, because I know a lot of people are always interested in this. You're looking at 830,000 cards being graded in the month of September. That's huge. That's a lot of cards. They break it down. 27,000 per day, a little over 1,100 cards per hour. And they're using that on a 24-hour uh, piece right there. Because PSA is working 24 hours a day. Um, that's big numbers compared to the previous months. Just huge. And if you look, it even says here, 24% increase over the August output, almost 670,000. That's a lot. So they are going through this stuff. It's going a lot quicker. Um, you guys seen just from uh, the video the other day, my PSA that popped, so it gives you a rough idea on to it. Um, there it is. All right, so this is really the interesting part. Basketball cards, 277,000. Baseball, 204,000. Look at that increase, 45% increase in baseball. And a lot of this stuff you're going to start seeing is going to be like tops, chrome, and stuff like that that's coming through. Mm. 183,000 gaming cards, which is your Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! That's a lot. 91,000 football cards. Kind of surprised by that number, but when you start thinking where we were at during this time frame for releases and stuff, I could kind of understand that. 28,000 soccer cards, those are on the rise. Over 19,000 hockey cards. So, they they did a lot. A lot. And this is just some of this stuff here. 34, over almost 35,000 Prism basketball cards. And that's from the 1920 with the Zion rookie year. Insane. That's almost half a million have been graded. Just look at the Chronicles number. Almost 28,000. Mosaic, 21,4. Optic, 14,3. Just huge increases in the amount of basketball going through. And it just gives you an idea of production levels. Uh, baseball, you're looking at a lot of 2020 tops and tops chrome, like I said. Um, Lou Bob was Series 2 tops, was the most, with over 2,700 moving into shipment. The company now shows over 24,000 24, Robert rookies in its system. Wow. Big, big. So this is a pretty much the end of it. PSA grade over 2,000 each of Robert's uh, Chrome rookie and flagship rookies. Um, of Kyle Lewis and Bo Bichette. Figured those would be up there. Bichette, really, I figure, I figure maybe even Jordan would be in there, but I'm guessing not. Uh, most graded player again, Michael Jordan, over 20,000 Jordan cards. We still had that big push from when they did the Jordan era. I think it was like $9 a card, $8 a card, something like that for the cheaper end. 32% in, uh, percent increase. Then PSA encapsulated over 18,000 LeBron cards, 16,000 Morant. Close to 12,000 Mike Trout, huge jump, 10,000 Kobe. I mean, they didn't even hit, like, Luka in there or uh, Zion, another big one. But they had a lot of cards going through a lot. Uh, Capsule was at 3,000 on open packs, which is a good bit for them. That's a good bit. But huge numbers for PSA last month. And I know a lot of people aren't fans of PSA and stuff like that out there. Everybody's going to have their own favorite grading company. But just these numbers here are just em huge, immense numbers that they're going through. And, I mean, I've heard everything to where they brought coin grade over, graders over. So when those coin graders are grading your cards, it's harder. 
all that stuff across the board. A lot of different myths going on out there. You know, I, I, it, you hear it with all the grading companies. Beckett, SGC, um, HGA, and all the other ones have come out. I mean, there are not a whole lot on CSG out there, but I'm sure we'll start hearing their name in the near future, especially if they're the grading company that's going to be under the umbrella with Fanatics and all that. But I wanted to run this through people just so everybody could see this. Um, we'll have the new stats out for the 10,000 PSA 10 Club. A lot of new ones I'm looking at, so it's going to be a big list. I think I had something around 15 cards to it that we're going to be keeping track of as well. But that'll probably be within that first week of the month in November. Once uh, that October 31st hits the population, everything's pretty much in there. But all right, everybody. Thank you again for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think about these massive numbers. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of videos out there. People aren't happy with their grades. Uh, I, I can say honestly, I've been pretty happy with them through this whole shutdown. A couple caught me off guard, but it'll happen. But overall, I was pretty much expecting what I got sent in as grades on to it. But other than that, I will catch you all next video. Have a good week.